Hey, good morning friends, it's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. Sunday morning around 6.15. So that means it's time for the Silky Smooth Sunday Shave. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope you had a great week. Mine was pretty good. Hope your Thanksgiving was fantastic as well. All right, so before we get too far into this, as you can see, I'm not wearing my standard uh, wife beater. I've got the uh, Santa Claus shirt on because it's December 1st. That means it's the 12 shaves of Christmas every day. This month, I will be shaving with a Christmas-themed soap. So what are we using today? Uh, Little Tim's Ebenezer. This is a local barber shop. The, the shop owner makes his own soap. And this was his Christmas scent a few years ago. It's a benzonite clay-based uh, soap. So I've got it blooming. And I figured out that was the problem, or not the problem, but that's why I was having a little difficulty with the uh, Kiss Me in the Garden stuff I used on Thanksgiving. It's a clay-based soap. Those do need to uh, soak for a little while. So anyway, that's been blooming. Beautiful scent. It's uh, It's been a while, a while since he made it and since I used it. Very honey forward, but it's got some honey, a little bit of frankincense, a little bit of myrrh, some other spices, but it's a very sweet scent. So we'll be using that today. I'm excited for that. That's one of my favorite Christmas soaps. He did a really good job with it. For the brush, Omega Bore 10,098. For the shaver, the uh, Slime Lime or Booger Green C Diff with a uh, half perma sharp blade in it. I think maybe second or third use. Um, and for the post, I don't have any really good scents that will go with this, so I'm just going to be using the uh, Nivea Men's. I'm almost done with that, so. Alright, let's get shaving. Well, like I said, I hope everybody. Had a good Thanksgiving for all my folks in the States who watch. Thank you for all the well wishes and the uh, comments on my last video. It was a good day. It was a good shave. It was good. Uh, went over to my brother's house, had a fancy dinner. <coughs> Hung out with my, uh, my sister was there. Um, a friend, my brother's friend and his husband came over. Look at that, just rich, creamy, barely loaded it. This is going to be a good shave. Um, my sister, her husband, one of her sons, my brother and his husband, and uh, one of my brother's friends. Whoa, out of the eye, out of the eye. And his husband. Good dinner, kind of a... Uh, Fancier take on the traditional Thanksgiving. We had turkey and dressing. <clears throat> but like the sides, there was a corn theme. So all the sides were corn-based. Um, so it was very good. I'm very grateful that he uh, puts on that meal every year. It's always delicious. He does a great job. Finished it off with some pineapple upside down cake. And peanut butter pie, a cup of coffee, fantastic. Look at the soap, I mean, just ridiculous. I have forgotten how good Tim the Barber does with his soaps. Um, I've used a couple of them over the years. Sent off a couple of them over the years. Some people liked them, some people didn't. But I am a, a fan. Not the slickest as far as like post shave and stuff, but they lather really well and they give a pretty decent shave, so. And it's a bonus for him, because he uses all his own soap in his shop. So, all right, let's get to shaving. What else, man? I uh, was off Thursday, went to work on Friday, pretty busy day. And uh, yeah, that was it. Yesterday I ran errands, did my typical Saturday stuff. Those of you who Follow me on Facebook or are in the uh, It's Just Shaving Facebook group. I'm going to be a little more active there since my buying freeze is coming to an end. I uh, avoided the Facebook groups and the internet stuff, one, so that I wouldn't be... One, there was actually a little too much drama happening. That's just one of the honest truths. But two, it was a good way to keep my buying freeze intact. Um, 
because I didn't, I wasn't constantly bombarded with reviews and advertisements and release notices from the artisans in the groups. Like I talked about in my last video, I'm pretty unaware of anything that came out this year. And that's okay. I probably could go. I know, like I said, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I was actually talking with a friend the other night because I had to clean out my, or straighten up my cabinet. And uh, I told her, you know, she was like, well, it's your hobby. Not a big deal. Look at my makeup drawers. And so she sent me photos of all her makeup stuff. Then I sent her photos of my cabinet after I straightened it up because I was embarrassed as to what a mess it was. And uh, I think she was a little shocked <laughs> to see how much stuff I actually had. I mean, it's a linen closet built into the wall. <laughs> It's uh, two doors, three shelves on each side, and it's pretty much full to the brim. And that's not including my pottery and my strops and my straight razors that don't live in the bathroom because I want to keep them from getting too much exposure to the moisture. But it is what it is. I probably will try not to do too much buying this year. I don't, there's no hardware that I need to buy or that I'm looking to buy. Ooh, I just caught myself at the corner, I think. But, uh, <clears throat> I may pick up a soap or two. Like I said, there's a couple of, uh, couple of splashes I want. To complete some sets of soaps and uh, maybe the new it's just shaving group soap for 2020 maybe Uh, it was announced yesterday it's going to be made by Sterling. I don't know if there's a planned scent profile for it or anything like that yet, but... But if it's a Sterling soap, I'm sure it will be well made. Fantastic performer and a fine scent. Also, if you follow me on Facebook, you'll have seen my posts about Christmas spirit and Christmas shaves. You guys would not believe how much grief I've gotten over the years. Because I'm not a big Christmas decorator. Slash celebrator. I just, you know, it's got some, it's got some childhood memories that are fond and, and uh, when my mom passed away, Christmas changed. It's a time of year that she really shined and uh, since she's been gone, it's never been the same. And as an adult, because I don't have any kids, it's just never been high on my priority list to, uh, to decorate, you know, um, And whenever we're at like work or church functions and there's decorating going on, I'm always kind of bah humbuggy because it's just not something I enjoy. 
and uh, <laughs> so much grief from my coworkers, from my church family, from my work wife, um, pastor, his daughters. His daughters even went so far as to make me a Christmas tree painting. <laughs> Um, but most of those folks don't know about my shaving hobby, so they never see these videos, they never see my Christmas shave, so I had to put that out there. But, I got tired of all the grief, so this year I'm giving in, I'm buying a tree, and, uh, I have no clue what I'm doing. It's not the first tree I've had. As an adult, I used to know a gal who was Jewish, and uh, because she grew up in a Jewish household, they don't celebrate Christmas, or they didn't celebrate Christmas, so she never got to decorate. So, for over a couple years, where I, uh, I bought the tree and the ornaments, and she bought some of the ornaments too, stuff that she wanted to put on it. I made only one rule that it had to be Hanukkah colors <laughs> Just, uh, to keep intact her Jewish heritage. So a lot of blue, white, and silver. And she would come over in December and decorate the tree. I didn't help. <laughs> and then uh, at the end of the month, she'd come and take it down and pack it up. I can't say I didn't help. I helped a little bit, but that was more her thing. But as always, things change, and that tree got pitched in the garbage. <laughs> but, uh... but, yeah, so this year... Christmas tree. I was actually even, there's this very sweet lady at work. She's a administrative assistant. She's like the uh, office mom. Super sweet, super nice. Very into the holidays. She makes little goodie bags for Halloween and puts them on everybody's desk. And the same thing for like Thanksgiving and Christmas. And she organizes all the office potlucks. So. But anyway. It was, she found out that I don't Christmas. And she gave me a chiding. And I explained to her why, and she was very sympathetic. But she still told me I had to put up a tree this year. So, rather than disappoint mom, and my work wife, and to get the people and the pastor and everybody else off of my back. I'm putting up a tree this year. And uh, I'll, I'll be the first to admit, I have no clue what I'm doing. I said that already. I was talking with it. I'm talking to, uh, I'm just going to call her the wife. I'm talking to the wife about it the other day. So she found me, or she found a tree on Amazon and said, hey, this is a pretty tree. I said, great, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Should be in on Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. And uh, yesterday I went to go look at ornaments and I was so overwhelmed and just bleh about it. <laughs> Had a small panic attack. Made the little gal at the store laugh. I turned the corner and hit the Christmas displays and it was full of people and stuff and lights and sounds and uh, I audibly said, oh my, the little girl saw and heard me, I guess she saw my face, 
And she kind of giggled and laughed. And when she was done laughing at me, she was like, is there something I can help you with? And I was like, no. And I just walked up and down the aisles very quickly, decided that I wasn't mentally prepared for that outing. And I went and bought a shower curtain. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be a weird couple of weeks or a week or so until I get the, get it sorted out. But luckily I'm off during the week so maybe I can sneak in on a Monday afternoon and do that stuff in peace without mobs of people. Plus, you know, it's the first weekend after Thanksgiving. It's the big. Shopping weekend. So every place was just a little bit more hectic, I think. So we'll see. I'm frantically in my brain trying to figure out a way to get somebody to come and decorate for me. I'm almost tempted to invite the wife over and have her do it because I think she would totally enjoy it because she's probably more excited about it than almost anybody else. But, uh, you know, co-workers and off-duty stuff. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I can get the pastor's daughters to come. Invite them and him over for coffee and get them to decorate. All this would be much easier if I wasn't single. Because then I'm sure whatever gal I was dating would be all about helping me do this. Anyway, enough about the Christmases. Or lack thereof. What about the shave? Well, the shave is good. As always, the Sedef and the Perma Sharp shave really well. But always a little irritation from that combination. The Perma Sharp's not my most favorite blade, but have a ton of them, so I'm using them. But it's a very good shave. <sighs> Tons of fantastic slickness left over from the soap. It's slicker than I remember. Maybe it's a different batch. Because I had like a mahogany lavender that I used up a year or so ago. It was really, really good soap, great scent, great performer. Just didn't have a ton of residual. But this one's got a different face feel, I think, or maybe I'm just misremembering. Fantastic shave. Let's get the head shave going. We'll go back to the pup just a touch because, you know, that brush is a lather eater. What else? Uh, stayed in Wonderland throughout the whole holiday season. I hit uh, Wonderland around, for those of you who don't know or may, may be new to the channel, I'm on a weight loss journey, trying to lose 100 pounds. I am down from uh, 281 in 2017. I finally made it to under 200 this or last month on the 20th, on the 20th of November. Didn't figure I'd stay there long with the holiday and everything, but uh, I managed to... Uh, actually stay under 200 and actually lost a few pounds so I weighed in uh, this morning at 193.2 so um, but yesterday was really muggy and hot it was like 82 degrees here and uh, I did a seven mile ruck so I may just be a little dehydrated um, either way kept it under 200 I'm stoked about that my ultimate goal is to, to hit that 100 pound loss. I had to weigh 181 several years ago when I visited my doctor uh, because of my back. He told me to lose 100 pounds or at least get under 200. At the time I was about 175, so my goal is to see if I can get to 175, stay there for a little while and see how I feel physically. Um, 
I can tell you this right now though, my back feels really good. I mean, it's still achy and I take a daily pain medication over the counter and said, uh, leave, you know, for it, but it doesn't, hasn't gone out in a while. Knock on wood. Um, it's a lot less aggravated all the time. I can be more active without suffering the consequences the next day. Um, so I'm sure that has to do with both the fact that I've lost 80 some odd pounds almost, or 80, I think 80, 80 something, 79, 80 pounds, or, or and the fact that I'm exercising and strengthening some of those muscles, you know, leg muscles, core, all that good stuff, so. I'm hoping that if I can get to 175, and if I feel good as far as my energy goes, like I said, my back already feels really good. So if I could, even at 195, 200 pounds, I think it's done wonders for how my back feels. But as far as like energy and strength go, if I could do it at 175 and stay comfortable there, I might try and stick around there. or add back on a few pounds of muscles just to um, increase my strength a little bit. And you know, I'm not gonna lie, now that I'm on the healthier path, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of aesthetic improvement I'd like to make to my body. That's not, of course, that's not the goal and that's not why I did any of this. Um, finally just decided to listen to my doctor and do what he told me. And gosh, it works. It's amazing. Or it's working, let me put it that way. And while I look a lot better than I did, I tell you what, it never gets old getting compliments. Um, once again, that's a bonus on top of the improved health. But, uh, You know, a little bit of an improved aesthetic wouldn't be bad because I look, like I said, I look much better than I did. But, you know, now that I'm a little thinner, I've got some loose skin that I, I wouldn't mind maybe tightening up with uh, by adding a little layer of muscle under it. Not a lot. Like I said, still got to keep it under 200 pounds. But if I could get to 175 and then put back on. 10 pounds of like lean muscle or something like that. One to increase my strength and or tighten up some of that loose skin. I'd be really excited about that. But ultimately, if that doesn't happen, that's okay. Because I'm on reduced medications and my back feels good. So there you go. So yeah, so I have uh, achieved my goal of hitting 200 pounds, my revised goal, because my original goal was to get down to 175 this year, which I'm probably not going to do. Actually, I wanted to weigh, I wanted to, yeah, I was going to lose 52 pounds, which would have put me, let's see, I ended last year at around 1229, uh, so lose that 52 pounds, that would have put me around 170 something. And uh, that was the goal, but then I gained 30 pounds back because I got lazy about my meal prep and my diet. Back at it since September, or since July. And uh, from July I went down from 257 to where I'm at right now, 193, or yeah, 193. So I did lose 52 pounds this year, <laughs> unfortunately. It wasn't from the weight I should have been. But, so I revised my goal in July just to get down to 200 pounds or less. I did that. I'd like to see 181 by October or December 17th because that would be 200, or 100 pounds in two years. Since when I started this nonsense, seriously. Um... That may or may not happen. That's kind of lofty to lose 12 pounds 
in the next 16, 17 days. So ultimately 190, 187, 185, somewhere around there. It's not a hard, fast goal, but I would like to get under, <clears throat> to get 190 or less by the time I uh, hit my two year anniversary, my two year weight loss anniversary. And I think that's pretty doable. Uh, you know, if you, once again, if you follow me on other social media, I still cannot believe that I am in a large shirt and a 36 inch jean waist. Um, I don't ever, I don't remember the last time I wore that, those sizes. And uh, yeah, that's pretty impressive. All right, that's the head shave, get rinsed. I do a little clean up here. something you guys usually don't see. The head blade pickups. Because I can't make these kind of passes with the straight razor, or I'll die. All right, let's see what the helm says. All of that is very nice. A little tingling as I get to the part that I just ridiculously overshaved. All right, let's up the helm. Dry off the face. There you go, fantastic, silky, smooth Sunday. I'll do the lotion off off camera, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful shave. Um, forgot to mention coffee this morning, brought to you by Just Coffee Co-op. This is the uh, El Corazon blend, beautiful medium blend coffee. Uh, the scent, the uh, flavor profile is grapefruit, orange zest, and dark chocolate. I can taste it. If you get a chance to check them out do it anyway that's what i got thank you guys and gals so much for spending a little bit of time with me this morning i hope you have a great sunday hope the rest of the week teach treats you well no matter what you do go spend some time with your friends and family because it's very important and uh have a great sunday the holidays are upon us whatever holiday you celebrate i hope it's merry and bright with friends and family have a great one